All right, guys, you asked for a uh, tour of town. So, Cass, this is for you. Alex, I hope you like it. Anyone else who's watching, I'm making these videos for my nephew and uh, one of my co-workers' sons uh, who play Minecraft. I've been building this world since beta 1.6 and showed them some pictures and they wanted to see some more. So in this video we're going to do a quick little fly around of the town. Um, I started kind of the opposite place I have before. I usually start down on the bridge looking at the keep. In this case I'm, I'm in the keep and we're looking at town. As you can see I'm right over the entrance to the keep. Do a quick spin around so you guys can see where I'm at. Again we're trying this with shaders. Not sure if it's gonna work. It seems a little jerky to me. That possibly is my mouse scroll being poor. But we'll see how it goes. This is where we're at. The sun is going down, unfortunately, so we may have to fix that. Although we can't, because I'm in spectator mode. So some of this is gonna be a night, so we'll get going. So the oldest part of my town is this part right here. Um, this is some of the oldest stuff that I built. Uh, when I first got here, I made the keep, and then I started adding sort of these buildings right outside of town. So um, this bigger building right here is an inn, and then these are all houses. Um, mostly of like the, the castle villages. Also, I mentioned in another video that I have uh, subway stops. Those tents that you can see with the the colors and the white, those are subway stops. So if you take my mine track down outside of my um, item sorter, that's where you can come up. Uh, this is the uh, town chapel and the chapel house and the guard towers. And I talked about these in one of my other videos too. They have a signal on the top, a couple of levels. Um, there's a, uh, most of those are furnished with a bed on the bottom and a little table. Got a pig farm in town here, as you can see. If we move and zoom around, get a pretty good view. This house right here, we'll go into some of these on another video. One of the guys when I first started playing, his name was, uh, I played this on a, on a multiplayer server. Um, one of the guys that I played with, his name was Steve. Um, he built this house uh, to come in mostly to steal my sheep and my food, uh, but he lived here and there's mine access in that house. Um, Steve stopped playing right around when Minecraft left beta and moved to production. So if we zoom around, we'll come up on the inner wall. So this was the original town wall here, and you can see another, another subway stop outside there. Um, the, inner town, the inner town wall sort of encompasses the windmill, uh, all of the castle's farms will follow the wall around. And over here, um, we have the market. So there's a market. Those are stocked with various goods. Um, the villagers, uh, I made some, some, uh, some farms to match what you see in villages. Um, and then we've got some farmhouses. So we've got wheat, the various vegetables, melons and uh, pumpkins um, and there used to actually be I think a cow farm back here and that this house that we just flew over was um, the, the like barn for that a small barn so we'll keep keep flying and as long as I don't turn this is I think looking pretty good but as soon as I turn it gets a little janky um, and then you get your mushroom farm. So I got some of the of the mycelium and moved it over here and, and let it expand out. Um, and then you get to the end of the wall. There's two there's two gates on this wall. We'll fly back and see them. Um, that is the village over there. There's tons of villagers in there. Though they're very poorly organized. They used to have them organized, and they they conducted a jailbreak at some point, and they're all loose and really. Need to be uh, need to be edited pretty hard because I've got quite a few non-ideal traits. Um, I built a big flower garden after they added all the flowers. Uh, there's a, a flower field biome near here. 
which allowed me to collect a lot of these very quickly. Um, also very handy, you can you can throw bone meal at most of these to recreate the flour, um, which you can use to make dyes. Um, so for making dyes, it's really handy to have a flour farm uh, to get some of that really quickly. A sugarcane farm um, on the river uh, with some nice docks. I do this style of dock most of most of the places where I'm on the water. Uh, this looks really, really nice at night, actually. Speed up a little bit, and then we'll go down the main street and then follow the wall along. Try to check and see how long we can go. So we go down through town. Um, this building here is a blacksmith. Rabbit farm. Oh, and over here, uh, we talked a little. I thought I mentioned this, I think, on another video. And unfortunately, it's not great to see it at night, but um, there's a tree farm. So I have all the all the different kinds of trees um, all lined up here, so I can quickly get the wood varieties and then replant them. So in that house, there's a couple chests with um, the various tree varieties uh, in them. Makes planting them much much quicker. Uh, you know, a ravine here, it's connected to some of my mines. Um, and then we're just going to do a quick zoom around. So this town has a couple of different areas. Like I said, this is the inner wall. The main gate is here. There's another gate way over there. So we're going to zoom through. Oops, let's roll a little quick there. My friend, I'm inspector, but I can go through walls. So if we go through the main gate, you end up in the warehouse district, and then you're pointed at the exterior wall gate. We will zoom around in the warehouses a little bit so you guys can see um, what these looks like. I'm pretty proud of this area. It's the one place where I've really done sort of variable pathing um, with different kind of blocks, mostly. Uh, this was before the path blocks exist, so it's mostly um, gravel, uh, but there's other things mixed in, and you get a nice fly through of my warehouses with the big base back there in the background. Uh, you were really on, uh, if you were playing this on survival like I do, you would then maybe get on the subway here and go somewhere else, but instead, Zoom around. This is a big inn right here. This is furnished. I'll show you guys this in one of the videos. Uh, but we'll zoom around here quick. Go back down by the water. And fly around the outer wall. So the outer wall is pretty cool, I think. It's probably my second favorite build after the cathedral. Um, partially because I actually built it in two sections on each side of this lake that we're over right now. And then later decided I wanted to connect them, um, but they didn't line up, so I'm going to show you this quick. So what I did was I had to make a jog over the lake to get them to line up. And I think these lights underneath it are pretty fun. Whoops. This is the outer wall. I like it with those moon rays. Um, this took a long time, and I, I went through a couple iterations of what this could be um, because I didn't really like my early designs. This also took a long time to build. It's pretty long. Um, I'm not sure what this building is, the big one uh, with the, uh, the big tower with the associated sort of um, semi-sphere, I guess, oval. It's kind of egg-shaped, this, this dome thing. Um, it's got stairs up to the top so you can climb it. And up at the top and you actually have, all right, I can't land. I keep forgetting that I'm in spectator. A uh, very nice view of town from over here. Another future subway there. Um, I have plans for all of this 
tree area. I typically plant forest where I haven't built yet, just so I can get wood later um, when I do decide I want to build there. So uh, we'll go through and do that at some point. I've got some some big plans. So this is again along the outside of the inner wall. You can see it's a, a very different design. It's made of cobble. It looks a little older. It's a big, big guardhouse right on um, the town's port here, uh, where you can see these little rafts down below me are used to move goods um, out to the ships in the harbor that you saw in one of the other videos. So um, they can come and, and drop them off on the dock in town, uh, take them over to the warehouses, and then move them up there. So the way they get out of here, since this is actually a lake, is um, there's a channel. Show you that. So if you're on a boat, you can come through this channel, go all the way to town. And this one just came up. That brings you out right there, um, which is uh, pretty fun. So, big guardhouse out. Uh, the channel and that is the town so I hope you liked it um, there's some more detail uh, we can go into some of these buildings in another video uh, we can look at some of the farms in more detail I don't really have any auto farms on this world I've built them in some of my other worlds but um, actually I'm honestly those sorry I'm moving my mouse on accident um, those farms are mostly just for looks uh, I have a farm in the basement of my base that I actually use for food, which I'll show you in a different video. So um, there it is. That's my, I guess, two parts of my town. Um, and as I build out that other half, uh, I will keep you guys updated and, and post some progress videos so you can see the way things are going. All right. Thanks, guys. Let me know uh, if there's anything specific that you want to see next.